What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Just made it to Ottawa, Canada and staying at the Delta Hotel. Now, the Delta Hotel is right downtown Ottawa City Centre, and I was attending and speaking at a conference there, so let's check out the place. So I made it, and this place is packed. There's like a hockey thing going on, which makes sense for Canada. But here's the room. Uh, pretty, pretty cozy. Pretty cozy little room. Definitely have a closet here, full length mirror. Oh, it works. I think it's high definition too. And all your regular closet amenities. Looks like they put a coffee maker in there. You're gonna have to get it out and put it somewhere though. And do a little ironing. Um, this room looks like it's an adjoining room, which, you know, are always a little funny to me. I guess maybe they're for families or something, but I don't know why anyone would really need them. Also, no sound insulation between doors like that is usually pretty poor. Uh, here's the bathroom. The light was already on when I came here, so maybe they just make sure it's all well lit. Boom! Uh, again, pretty cozy. I think Canadians are a little smaller than Americans because um, you can see how close the door is to the toilet. And then the curved bar on the shower curtain here, which gives you a little more shoulder space in there, but everything's pretty, pretty modest, but it looks nice. A little lit to shelving there. Got to have the glass shelves when you do that lighting on on there itself. So we've got about a 47 inch TV here. Looks like it might be on an arm. So you can swivel that around. So you can definitely watch it uh, from the bed. We also have a little um, holder here for your luggage. So you can put that out. Some drawers, some cubbies, nice little desk with like a Corian countertop and plugs for interfacing with that TV, which is nice. And then a little lamp. So that's going to be nice. This is a queen bed. Obviously, they have some options there. I do like the fact that they have little reading lights here so that if you're with someone, you're not disturbing them. And as far as I can tell, it looks like every light has their own switch. And you can see alarm clock over there, phone over here, and nice view of downtown Ottawa. It's a cool little town. A lot of people walking around, even though there was uh, a pretty big drop in temps. And this has the old 30-pin connector for the iPhone, but I don't see any USB or anything on here, so you're going to have to use your own. A couple bottles of water already sitting here, so I'm assuming I don't have to pay for that, which is kind of nice. Now, they also have a breakfast buffet, which I actually thought was really nice, and because the dollar's strong, it was a really good deal. They had a number of things laid out in a horseshoe format, including pancakes and sausage, eggs and toast. They actually had kind of all your main American dishes on one side, and then beyond that, they actually had things like fruits and some vegetables and some meats and cheeses. And then on the last portion of it, they had more of the baked goods, oatmeals. Uh, they also had like a little fruit smoothies, which was kind of nice, yogurt, and then a station for getting cereal and toasting and getting your bread products. Now, they also left me the entire pitcher of coffee on my own table, which I thought was a nice touch. Hey, if you want to stay here, visit Ottawa, the capital of Canada. Nice, friendly people. Gets a little chilly in the winter. I definitely recommend staying down here on Lion Street. Check it out. I'll put a link to getting some great deals and travel in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.